Hey, what's up guys, D Legend here. So Coliseum is ending for the month of October and we're gonna be getting ourselves uh, a copy of Attack Boost 8 Lux Plus uh, if you're top 5,000 and or top 10,000 I think it is, right? I don't remember. Top 10,000? You get a skill, right? If you're top 10,000? Yeah, okay. So uh, yeah, you get yourself a copy of the skill if you're top 10,000 and then top 1,000 you get two copies and top 100 you get three copies as usual um so i'm gonna be getting two copies of this thing and it should be good i guess not really it's actually a pretty trash skill but uh it'll be nice to have just in the inventory just in case i need some more skills for random metals that i don't really use all that often i guess but i just wanted to show you guys um this video here because uh like this round of coliseum right here because it is absolutely insane what they've done here in Colosseum. So, in previous rounds, I was able to do damage. Um, my route was round two, but uh, I managed to just. I once I got to my wall, I decided that I was like, okay, well, you know what? Might as well beat the highest round that I can beat, and then just stop there. So I just I've stopped there for a couple of days, and then I decided because a couple of party uh, of my party members were like, hey, let's uh, see how far we can get in Kali. So. They were grinding, I think my pal Fultano is 118th or something right now. Um, a couple of the guys in my party are top 100 right now, and so I thought, I was like, you know what, let's give it a try. So this is my setup for Coliseum right now. Um, this month and previous months um, have been insanely hard just because of how hard the enemies get once you get to a certain round. So let me just let me just say something real quick here. My Psyax has ground and aerial and extra attack, and this is a boosted sub uh, boosted slot in Starlight right now. And you'll just see how much damage he does on these enemies. It is absolutely bonkers. So Nominate Ex Plus makes uh, Psyax AOE, and now we're hitting ones. Literally the round before this, I was hitting like 5 million per hit with Syax. And granted those were aerial enemies, but regardless, that is insane. Even Zax doing damage. And that's, like, look at that damage from Nomine EX, uh, Nomine copying Prime Cloud. 300 damage and now 100 damage. I haven't seen those numbers in forever. Cloud can still do damage apparently, but only to uh, the Giga Shadows there. Or Mega Shadows there. So I just want, yeah, I just want to show you guys how crazy that is because once you hit your wall in Coliseum, you basically hit your wall nowadays. And so this is super, super different from the time that I was top hundred in Coliseum. I think that was when, so I was thirty second in Coliseum one one month, and that was probably the only like the second or third time that I was top hundred in PVE Coliseum. And that was right before, or right right after um, PvP dropped, and after that, ever since, it's been a gong show because 7 star medals have messed this game up in so many ways. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, that, that month I had to grind so many, so many rounds. I think I hit like tier 20 or something, or tier 21, and people actually completed Coliseum that month. And so the 31 people ahead of me, I, I think like five of them actually beat Coliseum. Like they went to the end game and they won the last round. And I think it was capped off at like tier 20, at the end of tier 21 or tier 22 maybe. I don't really remember, but it was insane back then how many hours you would have to put into grinding this thing. So I guess it's nice that they made it this way so that you hit your wall earlier, I guess. Because um, tier 17 versus tier 21 is a huge difference. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that one damage from my Psyax. Again, this is the slot that he's in right now. It's a 4.7 slot. A 4.7 slot. With these traits. And it does one damage. That's insane to me. Anyways, yeah, catch you on the next one, guys. Hopefully a high score challenge comes out tonight. Um, let me know how you guys are doing in Coliseum this month for PvE and for PvP. And uh, let me know if you guys like the changes to um, PvP that just got uh, released. 
So if you guys don't know about this, it's there's seven minutes for PvP battles now instead of five minutes. Um, unless you're doing a one blade week, so like last week where it was just the Lady Luck, it'll still be five minutes. But now it's seven minutes for every other week with um, three blades. So I'm not a huge fan of that because it allows people to stall a lot longer. Uh, especially right before reset so that people can't climb ranks and people can't get bumped down or up. Um, so it kind of makes me sad, to be honest with you, because instead of 25 minutes, people are going to have uh, 37 minutes now. I mean, 35 minutes now, what am I saying? And so that's quite a big jump, actually. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm sure they have their reasons uh, for doing this. Obviously, people with extra attack on every single metal in their blades will take a while to finish their um their like their their full rotation so i guess it makes sense but i i'm just not a huge fan of it anyways catch you all in the next one guys let me know if you guys what you guys think about the pvp changes and what you guys are doing for coliseum and what you guys are doing for halloween anyways catch you all in the next one guys peace out